How are you all doing? This is Akshita Shetty and you're watching Being Akch. So today's topic is all about how to crack open book examinations. See guys, exams are not just about testing your memory power or uh, how much you can recall, how much you can uh, present on the paper. It's not just about that, but it is about how well can you analyze a situation even if the textbook is right in front of you, okay? That is a very challenging pattern, I feel, okay? so. I'm happy that ICSI has been following this pattern since many years, at least from 2012 syllabus, I guess. So I think I've also mentioned this earlier that I had chosen IPR, which is Intellectual Property Rights, as the, the open book subject, okay, during my studies. And I'll tell you, it's one of the best uh, decisions that I made because in I mean during my syllabus, the rest of the subjects were banking law, insurance, and um, what else, what else, uh, foreign uh, trade and practices, I mean sorry, international law and practice, which majorly had practical subjects, okay, so I didn't want to, uh, you know, keep solving any problems even during the open book, so to be on safer side, I chose IPR, yeah, coming back to the topic, now that on a 2017 syllabus, you have two open book subjects and also in the new syllabus which is being proposed, that is ICSI 2022 syllabus, also has two open book examinations. So it is very necessary that you know the tricks to actually clear the open book exams successfully. So without wasting time, let's get started. Well Trick number one is read the entire textbook completely. Okay, by this what do I mean? Read it, don't study, just read it. Keep a highlighter with you, keep a pencil with you and keep highlighting the important major points. By doing this, you will actually know what is there in every chapter, right? Now open book exams doesn't mean that it is going to be super easy. Even if you have textbook right in front of you, I have seen people literally struggling and flipping their pages here and there to search for that one answer. It's not really easy. So the best thing to do is read at least half a chapter every day just read it go through highlight it and finish the entire book this way trick number two is prepare a master index what do you mean by master index it means the topics along with the page numbers right if you are already attending any coaching classes then you might have already received these master index forms from your faculty itself but if you are doing self-study then you will have to prepare it yourself in my case i actually got this master index um, on google itself because uh, mine was 2012 syllabus right so it was already posted on the google i can also uh, just put a screenshot of it here so this is how it looks it has the topics subtopics along with the page numbers by doing this you will be actually able to locate the topics very easily okay this is the best thing to do especially for multidisciplinary case studies Okay, that's how I've seen most of them clear it. This might take a little time to prepare, but it will prove very useful during your exam because you will not have so much of time to search every topic in the textbook. You will just have three hours and each and every second will be important. So you must discover such techniques which help you save time and also your energy. Trick number three is solve the scanner questions. Yes, take out your scanners and see what questions are being asked repetitively. Okay, focus more on such questions and if possible, write down all the previous year questions in a separate book. So that if the same question is asked in the exam, you can locate it very easily. Trick number four is draw lines beside the page numbers in the textbook itself this is a very simple trick it is being done just to save your time so that you don't uh, find difficulty in now uh, matching the page numbers with the topics this is a very small yet important technique next trick is attach sticky notes wherever needed okay so when you find a topic very important or uh, when that topic is being asked in the previous question papers 
just attach a sticky note and write on the side of it like you know which topic does this sticky note cover which page does it cover so that it will be again very easy for you to look it right keep doing this for all the important topics of a chapter next trick is write down all the case laws in a book by this i don't mean to say that you have to write the entire case law but only the gist right what will you write in the book the page number the name of the case law and what is the summary i mean whatever is the judgment okay you can just write a gist this way go on doing this for the entire book how many ever case laws are there do it for those many if it is not possible for you to write in a separate book okay attach a sticky note there itself in the textbook and write a gist there and stick it off okay so that if any case law based question is asked you can immediately run because you already know the gist right guys remember one thing in open book exam only 20 to 30 marks are being asked as direct questions like as in only four to five questions are being asked in such a manner that you can easily locate it's direct there's nothing like beat around the bush and with those questions you can definitely not pass because they would have asked it just for 20 or 30 as i said so be careful and do your preparations as much as possible and the last trick is do not carry a lot of books with you just because it is an open book exam no you will get really confused if you carry a lot of books lot of papers lot of uh, sources no don't do that you just have 3 hours and you have to utilize that very productively okay so ensure that you are carrying your textbook i mean the module with you the scanner with you if it is a practical subject then ensure you are carrying a calculator with you also your notebook wherein you have uh, mentioned all the case laws and where you have taken notes of everything that's it okay just don't bombard yourself with a lot of study materials it's going to definitely confuse you all right that's it i'm sure if you follow all these tricks you are going to clear your open book with flying colors Okay so this is all for today's video i hope it was useful see you all in the next video do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel until next time bye bye